What up there boxing fans? This is Ronell Higgins and you watching Ronell Hig Boxing Reports. So, okay, we boxing just went off. Pretty good fights, whatnot. Uh, prospects. Someone to look out. Someone to look out for and you know for the future. But this video is about Oscar, okay? For some reason, Earl Spence Jr. Has been on Oscar De La Hoya's mind. Hard. Okay. It's mighty funny. Mighty funny. That. So after all this scandal crap. With the Al Heyman court case. And the racist emails. Now all of a sudden. He's interested in Earl Spence Jr. I would say he's interested. Because he beat up Floyd Money Mayweather. But it took him this long to get interested in to the man? Nah. Well, anyway, Oscar had a few good points that I agreed with. He says, you know, if Earl Spence Jr. was my fighter, he would not be going over to Europe to fight Kell Brooks in his own hometown. Okay? He's fighting Kell Brooks in his hometown. And his country, okay? So, Oscar find that whole ideal crazy. He said that's the stupidest thing that could ever could have been done to a great fighter like Earl Spence Jr. He says, well, if he was my fighter, I would have him fight the winner of Danny Garcia and Keith Thurman. Not flying over to Europe and fighting Kell Brooks in his hometown. And not only did I agree to that, but the writer he was talking to also agreed because remember what happened to Gennady Golovkin? He was down, like almost almost all the uh, scorecards. You know, how they was uh, judging the fight over there in his hometown, I guess. No, that wasn't his hometown, was it? Forget, but anyway. He just thinks the whole thing is stupid. And I agree on that. Now, let's say if he do sign with Golden Boy. Boy, I'm about to say girl, sorry. Let's say if he do sign with Golden Boy. All right? And his fans, probably the ones here in the, in the United States, will abandon him. Because what, you know, Golden Boy was doing, the scandals... The racism emails and whatnot so all right I, I could understand but then again like I said in my video earlier what black person in America don't work for a company that's biased against blacks I mean we might not have heard them say racial stuff like we did with Golden Boy but the actions okay at the companies we work at speaks louder than words okay we see it's there we know it's there all right and, and like i was saying it depends what type of job you you get you work in law enforcement the actions is there the system was designed to diss the whole black community but what still got blacks that work in law enforcement now since earl spence is such a big topic for oscar and, and let's say if he do sign with uh, Golden Boy, Earl Spence has the power to say, well, look, if you want me to sign with you, all right, you like my skills and you think I will be good for your company, you got, you have to do me a favor, okay? Say, one, I'm a black man, okay? Two, I'm not working for some old racist, okay? With racist employees, I know it's there. All right, so you got to do me a favor. Either one, address the issue. Let us know what's going on here. Did you fire the dude? I want him fired. You get that done, I'll sign. You, you fire, I'll sign. Plain and simple. Okay, because Earl Sprints don't has a promoter. He don't have a promoter. And right now, the move he made with the uh, Kell Brooks fight, I mean, 
we are happy that it's being made but with him going over to the uk and earl spence's hometown fight you know he kind of lost on that one there so i mean uh, i i seriously don't think that earl spence had gennady golovkin punching power okay that's what saved golovkin from losing over there in the uk even if he puts so much pressure he beats the living snot out of kell brooks okay like i said before same thing that happened when Roy Jones first came back from heavyweight to fight Antonio Tarver. He got his ass whipped. He didn't get knocked out in the first fight, but he got his ass whipped. But did Tarver win? Not him. So even if Kel Brooks go over there in the UK in Kel Brooks' hometown and whip his ass like Tarver did Jones the first fight, think he'll win? It'll be another highway robbery without a gun. He's going to have to knock the boy out. Although, Kel Brooks is uh, betting on himself that he's going to knock out Earl Spence. And the only way he'll do that if they, they do some cheat shop crap. Like if he was to jump on Earl, Earl Spence and Earl Spence is covering up and the referee jumps in and stops it. Most likely with the uh, Joe Kazaki and uh, I forget the other guy he was fighting some... A Spanish dude Joe Kazaki jumped him on the first round he was covering up and the ref came and stopped the fight man that was cheap so maybe something like that might happen so yeah I mean right now Earl Spence is in some danger okay and he needs a promoter it's just that it's Golden Boy who's looking at him who's interested in him and um you know, I, I seriously think that uh, he's interested in him because if, if you look at Canelo, all right, let's, 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 let's look at Canelo's fights, all right? When Canelo fought Amir Khan, it did 600,000 pay-per-view buys. When he fought Miguel Cotto, it did 900 plus thousand pay-per-view buys. But when he fought that dude, Liam Smith, it did close to 300,000 buys. Now, those 300,000 buys, those close to 300,000 buys, and those those 52,000 people that brought the tickets, that is Canelo's fan base. That's his following. Those are his diehard fans. No one was going to buy that fight with him taking on Liam Smith. Who the heck is he? But his diehard fans did. And they paid t the money to buy the tickets to go see the fight so really canelo don't have a really huge following el hoya knows this he needs another star and since you know earl spence is free he's going for him plus the six million views he got he could really do some work with this kid however earl spence is going to have to speak up he can't have some type of gag order like man look i'm not signed to jack now if you want me to sign like i said you do some fire and i'll sign see right now he can say that and he wants to see the proof that it was done and then you'll get my signature on this paper and, and hey we can uh you know do some work you can start promoting so looking at it and with this Gennady Glupkin thing and why it's taking so long because he's trying to build up a fan base a much more bigger fan base for Canelo because like I said his his followings his diehard fans really isn't that much I mean Amir Khan has way more diehard fans than, than Canelo okay so Canelo and Liam Smith did close to 300,000 it did not do 300,000 it did close but when they went in with Amir Khan, it did 600,000, meaning that the majority of those diehard fans were for Khan, who brought the fight. And when it was for Kodo, the majority of those 900,000 plus were for Kodo. You know, Kodo, Khan, they both had a larger fan base. So it, it would make sense if, you know, uh, Gennady fight Kodo. 
And if Kodo was making these demands that De La Hoya and that Golden Boy is making with, uh, you know, what's his, uh, Canelo, well then yeah, that'd be something to bitch about. However, I seriously don't think that the Canelo Triple G fight would do huge numbers. Because Triple G, his diehard fans, he really don't have that many. I mean, what, 97,000, 150,000? And with uh, Canelo's diehard fans? So it, you're probably looking at somewhere close to 400,000. So really, no one's going to make money off this fight. Like, you know, they, you know, got in their, their minds, oh, it's going to be 1 million, 2 million. Nah, nope. Nah. You, 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 have, you have to look at the numbers. So... That's my uh, take on this. That's my two cents. I ain't mean to make this video that long. Well, too late now. My name is Ronell Higgins. You watching Ronell Higg Boxing Reports? Like and subscribe. One, I'm out.